Hello. And I've had a few more encouraging comments that there are quite a few of you who are enjoying these over the shoulder videos. So I will make some more. Um, just to remind you that we're playing um, BBO's weekly free instant tournament. Um, so you can play these hands either before or after you've seen the video, or as I know in one case, um, while you're watching it, playing each hand in turn and then watching the video, because obviously you can pause the video at a suitable point. Um, just to remind you, or for those that you are looking for the first time, um, the format of these tournaments is this is an event which has been played um, earlier on BBO, might be a lot earlier, but um, and the result has been obtained and that you are now playing at a table and your result is being compared with all the re other results that were obtained in that tournament. Um, you're playing against two robots and with a no ro another robot. Um, the format is such that you always have the best hand. Um, that's to say, no one else has a better hand. Um, so here I've got, as you can see, 13 points. That means no one else has a hand of more than 13 points. Another hand might have 13 points, but no one will have more. Um, and everybody is playing the robots bidding system, which is essentially a strong no trump, five card majors, better minor, and two over one game forcing, which means that if you open one of the suit and the robot bids two of a suit, that's actually forcing to game. So the robot should always have about at least 13 points or a very good distribution. Um, and that means that a one no trump response to you. So if you bid one of a suit and the robot bids one no trump, that's much more wide ranging than normal. It's six to 12 points. Um, and is forcing for one round, so you're not allowed to pass. Um, if you, that only applies if you've opened one of a major. In fact, if you open one of a minor, you're allowed to pass because you need more points for game in a minor. Um, so that's the format. So here I am, I've got my 13 point hand on five, five in the black suits. So I'm, um, the, in ACOL, there's quite a debate as to whether you should open this um, one spade or one club. Um, but I think when you're playing five card majors, there's no doubt that you should open this one of the major. So one spade. The repo robots made this one no trump response, but because it's a passed hand, you can't really have 12 points. It really has a maximum of 11. So it's not forcing anymore. Um, I'm allowed to pass. But I've got, I haven't got a balanced hand, I've got a distributional hand and the, the robot may not have a balanced hand. Just you know, if you've got six points, not enough to respond at the two level and partner opens one spade, you've got open one no trump, even with the odd void somewhere. So I will bid two clubs and let the robot tell me what it's really got. Ah, oh, it doesn't because the opposing robots have now come in and they found themselves a heart fit. Um, looks like five, well, looks like they've got a five, four heart fit. That means the fact that they've got a, let's that tournament result. Um, the fact that they've got a nine card heart fit, you can see that it says that three heart fit is four plus hearts. And this hand had shown, five, made an overcall, so that will have five hearts. So they've got a nine card heart fit. Um, at least. That means that we must have an eight card heart fit, at least, an eight card fit in some suit. Um, you can't construct a hand where they, you've only got four cards in one suit. You think about it, you've got um, 26 cards between you and your partner. If they've got a nine card fit, you've only got four cards in one suit. So that means you've got 22 cards between the other three suits. And three times seven is 21. So one of the suits at least must be an eight card fit. Um, but we don't know which one it is. We've told the robot we've got five spades and at least four clubs, um, but it hasn't felt able to bid over two hearts. So it looks as though, the, although we've got the best hand, our partner robot's got a rubbish hand. We know he's got some points, um, or she, because they did respond one no trump. 
So the hand points are pretty evenly based, but it's possible the robot sat there with seven bad diamonds. Um, so the question is, should we bid three clubs now? Um, and the robot's got seven diamonds, they ought to bid three diamonds then. Uh, I think we should. I think the law of total tricks says if they got a nine card fit and we've got an eight card trick fit, that we can make 17 tricks between us. So if they can make three hearts, we'll only be one off in three of something. Um, so, oh, sorry, it'd be three hearts, didn't he? So I'd have to bid four clubs. No, it must be right to pass. Because there aren't enough, it was, doesn't look like there's enough trumps to justify those kind of tricks. And so the robot begins with the spade, obviously doesn't have the ace. Um, I can't really afford to go up with the king because there's no guarantee that the robot, my partner's got the jack. The jack could be in the west hand. So I just need to encourage to say that I've got um, good spades playing a high card. This is not looking very good with the singleton club there. Looks like we do have a club fit. But probably four clubs would have got doubled and would have been too high. So the hearts to new slip to two. I'm still playing them. I wonder why. I think if the robot had had three spades, it would have bid two spades over two hearts. So I think I'm, the robot could conceivably have a singleton spade. So I'm not really in a hurry to throw spades. I think I can afford to throw um, a club here. Now, mm, it's overtaken the diamond. That suggests that um, there's that this hand doesn't have a lot of diamonds, but the gain increases the chance that it has spades. But I'm going to play on clubs now because my partner hopefully has enough diamonds that now with the 10 and the eight, hopefully, that the only winner in dummy is the queen of diamonds and that nine of trumps. So I'm going to play clubs at this point. And my partner plays the spade, which I didn't really want them to. Um, I have to win the king. So almost certainly the jack is in the hand on my left. Um, I don't really want... But my partner did turn up with two spades, so West can't have more than three spades. So I am going to... I'm going to make him use up one of his entries. I don't want to lead a club just in case he can play a discard, so... Here comes the three of diamonds to eight. Oh, they did have plenty of them. You can safely overtake because he had enough entries. So, um, no, there was nothing to be gained. There was nothing we could do. They always had plenty of tricks and they could have bid and made gain. So you can see that three hearts plus one is 50% result because that's what was pretty much at every table, except four clubs was a good bid, would have been a good save. Um, the robot, move my picture up a bit for now. You see the robot had five clubs with me. I think with five clubs, they should have ventured a four club bid as we weren't gone off. But they didn't, so. Um, you have to settle for an average. All right, so East has opened one spade. We know our hand's better than East's. And we've got seven, 10, 13 points. So East has, um, like that. Normally I would, playing ordinary bridge, I would say that you shouldn't double with this hand 
because you've got a weak now trump hand essentially and essentially you should only double one of a suit if they've opened in your double team so i would if i were playing this in just a straightforward bridge random hands i would pass but playing this format um right now i've got the best hand it may be difficult for the robot to bid so even though i'm vulnerable I'm going to stick in a takeout double here. One no trump by West, which could be anything really. Um, they obviously they, don't, they could pass, but um, but the robots bid three clubs, so five plus clubs, ten to twelve total points. We know they don't have more than thirteen because we've got the best hand. This hand's passed. It doesn't look, you know, we'd be very lucky to have enough to make three no trumps here. We may have a spade stop because it looks like the East robot has got more, most of the points of their partnership, although West has bid. So most likely there's 10 points there. Um, we've got 20, that will give us 23. And this hand has 12, that's five. So it's looking very doubtful. So. It looks as though club three clubs will be our best contract, so we're going to pass. So you can see this format of best hand um, actually gives rise to some more deductions that you would not be able to make in an ordinary game of bridge. So here we are. Partners only got eight points, but it does look good. They've only got one spade loser. I've got the ace of diamonds. So there's nothing there. Four hearts, and I've got four hearts, so um, I'm pretty sure one of the ace queen will be in this hand. So that should be good. And remember that it's this hand here, what was originally the robots, that is the hidden hand. So east leading here, can't see that there's a singleton spade there. So there's a chance they'll play the ace, but I think they're too good to do that. But I play the diamond, which means I can get a discard on the ace of diamonds as I want. Am I particularly bothered from which hand I first play clubs? No. Um, but more this hand, the west hand's more likely to have three clubs. But because I'm missing the queen jack 10, it doesn't matter. If the clubs break 3 1, I'm always losing two of them. Um, always losing one of them. If they're 4 0, I'm always losing two of them. So. Um, I will play the King of Clubs first because I'm more like I worry about the entry in dummy so I can lead hearts from there. Anyway, there's no reason not to let this run around and it might tell that and the Queen is in this hand. So we know that this hand probably has Ace King of Spades, doesn't have any points in diamonds. Um, we better find out about clubs. But there's a reasonable chance, reasonably likely, that they've got ace and queen of clubs. Almost pretty much certain that they've got the ace of hearts. Sorry. So there's the king. I'm going to play the two of clubs to the king first. Jack's turned up there. Three there. Playing the eight back. Queen play turns up there. Doesn't mean too much because the queen and ten are now equals. But in case they're two two, I'm going to play the ace. They're not. So the the West robot still has the ten of clubs as a winner, um, which I'm not too worried about. So this hand's turned up with um, queen of clubs and the queen of diamonds. Well, and they said one no trump. Hmm. I think it's very likely they've got the Queen of Hearts. They haven't got enough really to bid one no trump without it. So I'm going to try and tempt the East robot to play their Ace of Hearts straight away by leading the 10. I've got Jack 10, 9, 8, so I'm quite happy. And it didn't. Oh, could it be that this give them ace, king of spades, jack of clubs, that's only eight points. Um, 
really they've got the ace of hearts so i still is it worth playing the king probably in case there's a singleton queen here i think so i'll play the king oh that looked, well that was a bit of a miscalculation um and i'm just going to make the contract instead of an over trip now so i see whereabouts i got this wrong so we'll give up a trick so the queen of hearts here comes the ace of spades i suppose i missed, didn't take account of the jack of spades six I shall claim now. That won't be very good. So, yeah, they had 11 points. So you'll see I got a bad result out of that. Um, I shall have to count more carefully in future. Right, so here I am, I've got 17 points on board three um don't have a balanced hand so i can't open it a strong no trump uh, i'm gonna have to open it one diamond and then plan generally to jump in clubs to show a strong hand uh at least five four in the minors so we'll go one diamond one heart from partner not unexpected So I think I can bid three clubs here. I don't be. I think we'll see that three clubs. There's five plus diamonds, 18 to 20 high card points, biddable clubs. Well, I know I don't quite have 18, but uh, I don't see that two clubs does justice to my hand. I think if we looked at what two clubs means, well, I wouldn't even promise five diamonds. So I'm going to bid three clubs here. I know it takes up a lot of bidding space. But the robot's got three no trumps. It's happy because I've got spade stop as well. So I shall pass. And we'll see what we should do. And once again, it's the north hand that's the hidden hand. Um, you can see the hearts weren't very good, but the spades are, and this lead has made sure that we'll make three spade tricks at least, and we might well be able to make four. Uh, so, but we need to set up the diamonds too. We've got the three clubs, but we're going for the maximum tricks here. So we'll play low to start with. Is so I think it's very likely the queen's here and we can subsequently take a finesse of the jack of spades. But in the meanwhile, we need to set up the diamonds. So nicely in the north hand we can leave the nine of diamonds the king pops up so unless that was singleton because you see we had five seven of them if that was a singleton that's eight this hand would have five and the seven wouldn't be a winner this hand would have the eight but if they're not five nil that means all the diamonds are good there's a chance the four clubs are good but there's lots and lots of chances now we're in this hand we sadly are lacking some entries now to dummy to make all the tricks we could possibly make. Uh, so I think I'm going to run the diamonds and try and get them to discard something that will tell me a way I can play clubs. And it wasn't singleton, so all our diamonds are going to be good. I'm going to throw the hearts away from me because they're never going to make any tricks. Uh, yeah, my club has gone from that hand. The hearts. Remember, we, um, heart goes from there. We've worked out that the seven of clubs is good. Another club appears. That's good news. Does rather look like we might have a couple of entries. 
for the nine of hearts goes and another club goes. So four clubs are going to be good. Um, now they've thrown away four of their six clubs. We had set, we've got seven clubs to start with, so they had six. They've only got two of them left. There's a good chance now that we can have two entries to dummy. So the question is, are we going to stake everything on the Queen of Spades being in this hand? Um, the robot could see the ace jack here. Um, and so it might well have played the 10, um, may have played the nine to force the 10 rather than the queen. So, and robots like to lead short suits rather than away from honors. So it's not at all certain that the queen of spades is in this hand. So I don't think I'm gonna risk everything on that. I'm going to play for a different line for a squeeze that the hand with the queen of spades has um, the ace of hearts and that it can't keep all of them. So I'm going to play to having run the diamonds, I'm now going to try and run the club. I'm going to run the clubs. Jack went, so that's not a lot of take. And one heart disappears. Six of clubs, oh, nobody seems keen on throwing away the high hearts. So I'm going to throw the queen from Dubby. Jack goes, but there's still the king out, so I've got to play spades. And the queen of spades was there all the time. They hung on. No, they didn't. They still were. Yeah. So I could have taken that spade finesse and they the green tricks, but we got 75% for making tricks. So we've got the best hand, remember? 15, 16, 18 points. And they've got one spade, one no trump. Right, in this sequence, even though I'm doubling no trumps, it's actually for takeout. So if you were in England, um, and you made a double, which is a take out of one spade, which is the normal meaning of double here. Um, it is alertable. Um, just to make it, as it's a take out double of no trumps. This hand bids two clubs, partners bid two hearts. They didn't have to, it's a free bid. So you show that they're showing six to 10 total points and four plus hearts. So I said, we've got 18, give this hand six, that's 24. We give this hand 12 and this six, and that comes to a bit more than uh, 40 points. Um, they have this concept of total points where they take account of shortages and so on. Um, my hearts are rubbish. I've got a doubleton in that suit. That's probably not worth anything. Don't really have a major source of tricks. I've probably got four losers. So I'm going to pass two hearts. Let's see if they pass it out. They do. Here we come. Well, I think we can see that actually outside of hearts, we've only got one loser in spades. Um, we can't get rid of it. Not in time anyway. If they attack spades. I'm going to go up. Remember, this is the hand that's playing it. This is the closed hand they can't see, so they don't know there's a singleton club. So if I go up with the ace and play six clubs. Now here in hearts, well, it was marginally some advantage in playing the nine from there and finessing against the ten in this hand. But really, if the hearts aren't three, two, they're making four heart tricks and you're going down. So I'm going to, uh, well, you might still make two hearts and be going down in three. So I'm just going to play hearts from here. So I don't, what I don't want them doing is cross roughing, um, making all their trumps separately. 
many people when they have such weak trumps like this don't draw don't draw the trumps and they play that or they got all their winners in the side suits and they play them and they end up finding that their opponent one opponent's roughing one suit the other one's roughing the other one and they make all their high hearts separately and instead of making three of them when they split three two you find they make four or five of them um, so the ace has gone up it's not a great sign ace of spades is played that's sad they've cashed their one outside winner Right, so we need to hope. Well, we'll let that run around to my queen. And we'll play another heart and see what happens. Yeah, the hearts are indeed 4 1, and they will make the 10. So there would have been an advantage in crossing for Dummy to play it. King of hearts, they can draw the trumps now. But unless the diamonds, oh, this hand's thrown a diamond, so everything's going to be all right. The diamonds will come in. I can throw one away on the king of clubs as well. So I can claim my contract, but I suspect that won't be very good. It is 67%. Um, they're taking the risk of getting to dummy and playing a heart from dummy. In one of the few situations where it would, it did make a difference, you'd have run a risk of getting a diamond rough if you used diamonds to cross the dummy, or you'd have to give up a spade trick to do so. So um, I don't think either of those was you know, worth doing for the small chance that there might be four spades to the 10 in the East Hand. So we've got the best hand again on board five. Um, We've got 14 points, but our partner's got an opening hand. But remember, they can't have more than 14 points. So this is slightly, as I've said, a slightly artificial form of the game, but it's one of the things you need to take into account when you're playing this specific BBO form of the game. Um, it's different in other robot games. For example, if you play on Funbridge, you're not guaranteed to have the best hand. Um, we very often do, but it's not guaranteed. So partners open that. They got a five card major um, and 11 to 21 points. Um, and East has passed. So we know we're going to game. And if we bid a, two, a suit at the two level over the one, partner can't pass below game. And so we can explore our hands. So we might as well tell them that we've got a five card heart suit. As you can see, two hearts is five plus hearts, 12 plus high card points. And that's exactly what we've got. So we're going to bid two hearts. And the robot bids two spades, which means they've got three or less hearts, five plus spades. Um, they're not really telling us anymore. They don't have a, another suit to bid, you know, but not strong enough to bid another suit. But what we can do now, because we're playing two over one, is we can bid, I think probably best, is three spades. I'm showing three plus spades, 12 plus high card points, and it's forcing. So if we were playing ordinary Ackle, three spades here would not be forcing. But because two, the two hearts over one spade was forcing to game, three spades is forcing, it's still below game. So. Um, it's stronger than four spades, we think. If you're in a forcing to game situation and the weakest bid you can make is to bid game, it's called the principle of fast arrival. And it means that, you know, I know we're going to game, but it's not worth looking any further. I haven't got anything extra. Um, so here we can bid three spades um, for now because um, we're not quite sure what the best game contract is. Well, it's probably going to be four spades. Yeah. The partner is unsurprisingly says, no, I haven't got any more. They may well have six spades here um, and only two hearts or one heart. So this is the best game. We're going to pass. And once again, the north hand is going to play. So remember, this is the hand that's hidden. From, yeah, partner has six spades and one heart. Um, so we've got this club loser now, but we can rough another club in the short trump hand, which would be all right. 
you've got a diamond loser here, but here, for example, but we can set up these hearts to throw a diamond before they can establish them. So the main thing is, we want main plan is rough a club in dummy, um, set up the hearts, throw a diamond away. So we will play the six. And just here, in case the robots don't actually play count, but it's good practice here to play the seven and keep the two hidden. Because if your opponents play count signals, um, showing how many cards they have in the club suit, you can have a chance of confusing them by keeping the two hidden. And then play the nine. Right. Ten. King. Um, I'm just going to play the Queen of Spades at this point. Just to, if the spades aren't 4 0, I can afford to rough the two of clubs high. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and do now. Um, I'm going to play the Queen of Spades just to see if everybody follows. Because we had, remember, see, we had six and three nine spades. So they only have four. 13 minus nine is four. They've played two of them here. They've only got two left. So when I lead the two of clubs hit now and rough, I can afford to rough with the king of spades because I can play the four to the ace and jack and draw their remaining trumps. So having done that, I know it's safe. If one of them hadn't followed, I'd had to rough the club low and cash the king of spades and come back to this hand and draw trumps. But I can afford to rough with the king of spades. But as it happens, I'd have been safe and been low. But there's no point in taking unnecessary risks. Now we can do this, spade to the ace. And in fact, the spades broke 2-2, two, two, so they haven't got any more spades left. So and I've got ace and king of diamonds is safe, so they still won't be able to cash a diamond trick, um, even after I've taken one of them. So I can lead the king of hearts. Or they may not cover. Oh, they do. Three clubs. The trump. Nine diamonds in this hand. And two of diamonds. The ace. King of hearts. Throw the diamond away. And just claim making an over trick. And that's worth a little bit more than average. Um, I've done the same. So um, all the little safety precautions um, turned out to be unnecessary. You know, playing this, roughing the club high is only going to win show once in 20 times, but you know, 5% of the time or whatever. But that's if you consistently get that kind of edge then that helps you be a winner. You play 24 hands in an afternoon, and if you do that on every hand, on one of them, you're going, it's going to pay off for you and you'll get a good score. So here we are again, 13 points. We've had that a lot of times you know, today. So all the other ones, none of them have more than 13 points. I've got a pretty obvious wad spade opening. Right. Two spades from partner. Well, I've got a good spade suit, but I've got an awful lot of losers here. Um, although partner, you know, should have six points, maybe even eight, and only one of them's in spades. That's still not enough points unless there's shortage, unless they've got ace king of diet for four diamonds or something um, to take account of prevent all my losers. So I'm just going to pass two spades and hope the opponents don't compete. They did. Partners bid three spades. That saved me doing it. I think I've probably got nine tricks in spades. So here we are. Well, this hand bid diamonds. Looks as though we've got one club loser, two heart losers, probably two diamond losers. Um, 
this hand probably has five to the king and this hand the singleton. Unless that singleton is the 10, we're likely to have two diamond losers because if you leave the queen of diamonds for finesse, the king will go on, the ace will go on. Jack of diamonds is a winner, but the 10 of diamonds is going to win the third round. That's probably in the West Ham. So we probably, as I thought, are making nine tricks. But they've led a spade, so I'm going to be in my hand. We've got 10 trumps between us, so they've only got three. So I can draw one more round. Is there any real advantage? What am I going to play? If I exit with hearts, they're probably going to play clubs. We're unlikely to get a diamond lead from either player. Certainly drawing this trump now, I'm going to stay in my hand. And this hand's thrown the five of diamonds, makes it even more likely they might have six diamonds for their bid. But I don't see that I'm going to do anything much. There may be some chance of an end play uh, at some point. So I'll give it a go. So I'm going to leave the queen of diamonds. I expect the king will go on. Yeah. Take the ace. And two comes from that hand. So I think this hand's got four to the ten here. I'd like to make this hand lead. So remember, this is my hand, the south hand is the hidden hand this time. So I'm going to try and get this hand on lead all the time in the hope that it won't be able to make the lead. So I'm going to play the low club to start with. Well, that's a bit sad. I was hoping this hand would play low. And I could make this hand lead. But this hand's going to play the King of Hearts now. Made the two heart tricks. With this hand, I don't think this hand will lead. I think this hand will exit safely with the club rather than give me a rough and a discard. Oh, they've exited with a diamond. Excellent. I start with the nine. Um, seven and now the ace of clubs they should have exited with a club really jack there and i've just got trumps left this should be a good percentage no it's not obviously a lot of people bid game on this hand and made it which they shouldn't do against good defense you shouldn't make game so i'm surprised let's have a quick look at the other tables yeah, quite a few games and uh, quite a few plus ones. But really, the defence should take four tricks if they play properly. Right. OK. Oh, we've got 14 points this time. Luxury and some good tens and nines, good intermediates. So this is quite a nice hand. Um, and if it wasn't for the singleton, I'd be looking to upgrade it to a strong no trump. But I'm going to open, yeah, it's pretty obvious we're going to open one spade. Four diamonds from partner. Well, what does that mean? It's a splinter bid. So it's showing that they've got spades and one or no diamonds. So this is the splinter, where there's a suit that you've got. A singleton or avoiding 13 to 16 total points. Um, so this is how do we know what's when it's a splinter? If there wasn't a nice little alert by the robot that we could all see to tell us. Well, two diamonds would obviously just be a diamond suit, and in this case, be forcing to gain three diamonds is normally um, a stronger hand with diamonds. Some people would play it as showing support and diamonds, a fit jump. Um, other people would play it as um, a, you know, a strong good six card suit. Um, the traditional one was either a good six card suit or a good four card suit with four card support for opener. 
three diamonds and therefore four diamonds, one level higher than that is the splinter. So, and this is quite good news here. So I've got the ace of diamonds, so we won't have any diamond losers. We can only have one club loser. So I'm really just worried um, about the hearts and the spades. Partners got the you know, 13 to 16 total points, but they add on some extra points to having a singleton and so on. So we should uh, decide what we're do. I think we need to check up on um, key cards here. We want to ask, want to know about the ace of clubs, the king, queen of spades, and ultimately the king of hearts if we can. I don't think we'll find out all of them below five spades. But if we bid four no trumps, this is Roman key card Blackwood for spades. So Roman key card Blackwood, there are five key cards, the four aces and the king of trumps, in this case spades. And we can also say something about the queen of spades in our response. Uh, so we'll bid four no trumps. And five diamonds, you'll see, is one or four key cards. So that means the robot has either the king of spades or the ace of clubs, but they don't have both of them. Now, if the robot's missing one of them and we're missing the queen of spades, that's not going to be very good, even if it can fill in some of the other gaps. So we need to ask the robot about the queen of spades. And we do that by bidding five hearts, which is the next non-Trump suit up. So I'm asking, do you have the queen of spades? And if it doesn't, it will bid five spades and we'll play that. Five no trumps says, I have the queen of spades, but I don't have any of the lower kings. So no king of clubs, um, no king of diamonds, no king of hearts. So, but we're past five spades. But well, that should be okay. Um, really, we, it'll, at worst, we'll need either the spade finesse or the heart finesse to work. If he hasn't, if the robot doesn't have the king of spades, we'll need the kings of spades to work. Because if you work out, it can't have enough points um, without having um, a heart honor. So I'm going to bid six spades. And they catch their ace of clubs. So here are, we don't have a spade loser. We do have this club loser. We don't have any diamonds because we're off them. And we just need to solve our problem of the heart with it. Here comes the king of diamonds, which is a good play. So who's got the uh, King of Clubs is a question. Anyway, I have to win this trick. Um, so, not quite as good as I hoped it would be. Um, this Queen Jack of Clubs are really wasted values, but they do have five spades. So, I'm going to draw some trumps. And then, however, Good the clubs are, I need the heart finesse to work. So we followed. I'm going to leave the nine of spades just that leaves plenty of spade entries to either hand. So I play the nine to the king. If I want two spade entries to my hand, I can leave the eight and seven to the jack and ten. If I want two spade entries to dummy, I can leave the six to the seven. And the ten to the queen. So I've made, I've played these. It didn't really matter which of them played. It's only the two that was out. But by doing that, I've given myself the maximum flexibility of fire and entries go. Now I need to decide how to play the suit. I could lead the four of hearts, finesse the jack, and if that wins, um, look a diamond. And now I could decide how to play the clubs. I'm going to leave the Queen of Hearts 
because even it's covered by the king, it gives me a finesse against the 10, which is an extra better chance. So if I leave the four and the jack wins and then go back to dummy, I'm leaving the queen in effect to play for 10 doubleton in this hand. Whereas if I leave the queen, it's a slightly better chance. So I'm going to leave the queen. And the king doesn't appear, this doesn't look good. But no, there we are, we're going to be one off. Uh, four, five, we can win the nine. Well, we can rough those two diamonds and dummy the two jacks. Right, so we can claim our one off, and this won't be a good score. No, there we are, 25%. A lot of people, quite a few people, did the slam. But uh, you see that there's a pattern forming to these that I get, my score gets worse and worse as each one goes on. Right. Um, but equally, you can see I'm not faking this because I'm, I'm playing these hands for the first time um, each time and going through the logic of them. So here I am. 7, 11, 12, 13 points again. Nobody else has got enough. I've got to open one spade. Um, fourth in hand, you can open if you've got spades. If you haven't got the other suits, you need to be a bit stronger. So two clubs is interesting. This is something called Drury. Um, we don't play this convention much in this country. Um, it used to be banned by the EVU. Um, as a way of controlling sites. But essentially, they're saying, did you have a real one spade opening or were you just pretending? I don't actually see much point in pretending in fourth position. You might as well just pass it out. But um, in third position, where you might often open light, it's got some purpose. Um, East's double is a takeout double, um, showing they've got clubs, in fact. But I've got a genuine opening. Um, I think two diamonds would convey that message, won't it? Invite to game, five plus spades, 13 to 14 total points. That seems like what I've got. I don't think it says anything about diamonds. And I don't like the club position with these three clubs with the clubs on my right. But I must invite hearts on my left now, four spades from partner. All right, this is likely to be a tight game um, things are not buying well so I may get another bad score here but I didn't think I could back out of it so the nine of clubs mm. what will happen I think if we go up with the ace we've got two club losers this may well be a singleton, um, but I don't think we can do anything about that. I think by playing low, we mean that East can't carry on with clubs. So we will play low. Lots of plays. No, I've got them going. Play the six here, makes no odds. And they come back with a heart. So. They're certainly not certain. Right. So my line of play now is I'm going to draw trumps, but I'm part, I'm, while I'm doing it, I'm going to rough this six of hearts. I'm going to hope we can draw trumps in two or three rounds, and then I'm going to play diamonds into this hand to hope the east hand has to win and give us a trick back by playing clubs or diamonds. So um, I've got this in my hand. Uh, do I ever want an entry to dummy? No, I'm going to want to play from my hand in general. So I'm going to play the two of spades, the king. It's good, they're not breaking worse than 3-1. Um, Come back here. Part with the nine, play the ace of spades, and the spades. That's good. So they've all gone. So now, remember, east, if they get the lead, can't 
played 12. We think pretty sure they've got king, queen of clubs for their double. Um, pretty sure they can't, or even if they don't, they can't play clubs without getting rid of our club loser. So we're going to try and duck a diamond for this hand in the hope that then if they play diamond clubs, they give it, they'll get rid of that loser. And if they play a diamond, they'll get rid of one of our diamond losers. So that's what we're going to try and do. But this hand, may, this hand goes up with the queen, which is not a disaster because we can play the ace now. Now, does this hand have king, queen of diamonds? Where's the ten of diamonds? That's the question. Um, we've only lost one trick. We can afford to lose one diamond and one club. Um, right. Should we, it's only chance. Let's just think. If we were to lose the club for this hand, play the ace of clubs, and then lose, give up the club up for this hand. If this hand played a heart, we can rough in one hand and discard. From the other, but that still doesn't get rid of potentially um, our losing the losing second round of diamonds. Uh, the real danger is that this hand still got king ten of diamonds left and a club, so we can't throw this hand in. And if this hand just has queen ten of diamonds, and this one has one diamond, you throw them in with a club. They can exit safely with a diamond. And even if this hand's got three diamonds, so this hand's out of diamonds, and they have to give us a rough and a discard when we throw them in with the club, we'll still have two losing diamonds. So there's no way out of playing another diamond and deciding which for which hand to play, which hand, which of these two hands has the ten. This hand went up with the queen rather quickly. I think if they'd had the 10, they would have played the 10. So I think the 10 is here. So I think that um, it's more likely that this hand's got king, queen, doubleton. Um, so if they had the queen and the 10, they would have played the 10, not the queen, I think. So I think we'll finesse, we'll lead a diamond and play the eight from this hand, um, playing the east hand for the 10 of clubs. And it doesn't matter because the ten of clubs pops up. We can put the jack on. The king's there. They've got their, playing their club. Well, cost nothing to take the finesse. We've got no way of avoiding it. There, that wins. Now, the ace, and um, we can claim. So, as I thought, that was going to be a tight and but we gave ourselves the maximum chance we made it and hopefully we this got us back somewhere near average let's have a look yeah 85 percent so it got us up to 52 percent so not a wonderful set but really the the two bad boards were the slam not making which wasn't bad it was on wasn't a great slam partner could have had much better hand than that for us um and only bidding three spades when people were making four. But as I said, they shouldn't be making four. Sorry, no. that three clubs, that one was bad. I'm trying to remember what, what was that hand. Let's have a quick look. Um, yes, that three spades when people bid four was not great. It wasn't really bad. So this one where we bid, yes, this was the one where um, I miscounted the points or thought that this hand had to have um, 12 points when they only had 11 and so I got the Queen of Hearts and the Ace of Hearts the wrong way around. Um, so that was the really bad one. Um, I need to take a bit more time and count that more slowly and then that one with a big slam and to get those two right I'd have been back up near, near the 60%. But um, there you are you can see just above average so I hope you picked up a few useful things in that and that you'll continue to find this series useful. So I'll see you again next week, I hope.